Thus says the Lord, walk in full Christianity. Stop idolizing other gods. This is going to be a touchy subject, but I have to be obedient to God and preach the truth. So the Father is saying a lot of people are idolizing different religions. Um, You have Catholic, Buddhism, Muslim, the list goes on, witchcraft, which is not of God. In Matthew 16, 16, it says, Simon Peter replied, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. God was Jewish and he walked in Christianity. There's no it's in but you see a lot of private schools that are Catholic and churches. And what you don't know is behind closed doors, a lot of these Catholic churches, these priests and stuff that call themselves saved are raping and molesting the kids behind closed doors. Then you have these people dressed up as nuns, which are doing witchcraft. They pray with beads. They pray with statues and they read out of a book. That's not even the Bible. That is a no, no, that is not of God. You have to go by the person's fruits that they bear because a lot of these churches are low-key cults and if you're not careful and you're not letting the Holy Spirit guide you you will be deceived so I pray that the Father will give you clarity wisdom and knowledge to be able to tell who are the wolves in sheep clothing because there's going to be a lot of false prophets and leaders we are in the last days this is no joke that's why it is so important to get in this word because the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So I want you guys to know that God says you cannot idolize other gods. It's him. Also with Catholics, they pray to Mary. (laughs) If you're praying to Mary, you're praying to a demon. That's demonic. Mary can't hear you. Mary was just a woman that conceived Jesus. You can only pray to God or either the devil. And so that's a no-no as well. You can't pray to Mary. Only God hears your prayers. The devil can hear your prayers too if you worship the devil. But God is the one that you only idolize and worship. So I prophesy and I decree and declare by the blood of Jesus Christ that the Father will give you clarity and that you won't be deceived in these last days. In Psalm 51, the Father says, come to me with a broken, repentant heart. I will cleanse you white as snow and place new garments on you. So I pray that you guys repent from idolizing other gods and go to the Father and say, I surrender it all to you. I give my life to Christ and may you be clean cleanse with the blood of Jesus. I cover this word. I cover the children of God and even people that don't know the Lord that's watching this. I cover you all in the blood of Jesus. And I pray that this word was a blessing to you in Jesus name. Amen.